What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Chief. I got my girl Ash with me. What's good, guys? We got South Carolina and Washington, D.C. in the house. We're about to get that working. We got glutes and hamstrings. Stay tuned. Let's get to this workout. And we have questions along with the workout. So let's get it. So if you saw me, you'd be like, oh, that's cool, it's not, he's not too fit, or what? What do you think? You gotta get your weight up. You would say, I was like, <laughs> So, Ash, quick question. How long did it take you to grow your glutes? I've always had them. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you're doing high in weight, but also tempo has to do a lot with it and also how you're setting up your supersets as well. And how many times a week do you hit glutes? Cause I feel like, you know, there's some girls I see they hit glutes every single day in the gym. Like I see them all the time. So how many times a week are you hitting your glutes? All right, so here's the thing. If you have one girl who's hitting glutes every single day a week versus another gym girly who's doing it two to three times a week, the two to three times a week girly is gonna be getting more glutes than the other one. So what you wanna do is be able to give your muscle groups, and that goes for all of them. You wanna give them at least 35 to 48 hours of rest in between doing your splits. So how I structure mine is I have a leg day where it's more like quad focused. Then I have another leg day that's a little bit more glute focused. And then I have another leg day that's a, like a, in between the both. Listen, trust the girl Ash, cause she knows what she doing with the glutes. All y'all, let's keep it going. All right, for the cast glute bridges, y'all wanna make sure that you're only going halfway down in your eccentric motion and then popping right back up. Another thing is foot placement. If you notice, my toes are pointed outward and that's going to activate my glute muscles. Another thing too is you wanna make sure that your knees, when you go up, they're at a 90 degree angle. Is there such thing as a guy being too fit? Um, when you're to the point of taking steroids, probably, cause that makes you sterile and that can give you ED too. So if a guy has like a huge neck or something, but it's natural though, is that an issue? No, because that's just your body, and I'm not gonna like body shame somebody if that's their natural body. Okay, so if a guy is like, if he looks real like compact and veiny, that's cool as long as it's natural. Yeah. Okay, so would you say I may, like, would you, so if you saw me, you'd be like, oh, that's cool, it's not, he's not too fit, or what? What do you think? You gotta get your weight up. You would say, I was like, <laughs> 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 it's a joke. Tone it down. What What are your thoughts? No, I think you're good. What if I was 15 pounds heavier? You would still have to see. I would still have to see that because I like fat and muscle all weigh different. Like how muscle weighs more than fat does. So it, it depends on where that 15 is going. Hey, you know it's going. You know how it's going. You know, you, you know how it's going. But hey, that's a all right guys, when doing the Bulgarian split squats, a lot of people say they end up filling them in their quads rather than their glutes. And that's because you're standing straight up rather than having that hinge between your torso and your lower body. The modification that y'all can make to the Bulgarian split squats is also using a step up rather than using the bench. For me personally, when I use the bench, it's too high of an elevation and it kind of causes a little bit more knee pain than I would like. What is your favorite body part on a man? The arms. I like big, strong arms. Okay. So you don't care if a man has skinny legs? Nah, he gotta have the legs too. I like them thick all around. They gotta be well-rounded. So you, so you do. You talk about this guy. This dude gotta be at least two hundred pounds then. Yeah. <laughs> so if he, if he, if he like one fifty-five, it, it ain't, it ain't happening. Listen, I'm one eighty. <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm about to break you. I'm sorry. So what's the, okay, so I guess you have a weight requirement. What's the lowest weight you would go? Probably 190. All right. Hey, listen, man. Guys, get your weight up, man. You know, get up the protein shakes. You know, get your protein in. Do whatever you got to do, but get to it. Ash always being camera shy. But listen, man, make sure you guys check out that TLF apparel for men and women. Link in the description, 15% off. Let's get it. All right, guys, with the Beast Dance RDLs, you really wanna have two type of fluid motions with this exercise. If you notice, putting his hips back as if someone is pulling his hips into a seating position. And the second one is going down slightly below the knees. And if you see as well, his head is staying in line with his spine. And his back as he goes down is not curving downward. 
so everything is staying straight. Does it matter what type of car a man drives? No, not really. So, you know, back in the day, I used to have like an old little Honda Accord. If I pulled up in it for a date night, we, we, we cool? First of all, I got a Honda Accord. <laughs> Okay. So, and what do you feel like? Do you feel as all your friends have that same view on it? Um, not really so much my friends, but like I've heard like other girls talk about certain things, and they just care about like the materialistic stuff. But my thing is, if you want someone who's gonna be making like in the top five percent of earnings, like you're limiting like your dating pool, and those people in like earning the top five percent, like they could have like bummy attitudes, or they could just be bums with money. So like. I would rather have someone who like is passionate about what they're doing and like it's not even about like how much they make like obviously like I want you to be passionate and driven and just be like a good individual like that's what I care about so yeah don't limit yourself listen man we can't have it all man we can't have a bag had a whips had a money like you know it's hard to find guys you know like myself and of that nature so you got to just get to it Yes, sir, guys. As you can see, I'm clearly sweating. She got a little burn going on. She's a little out of breath. But that was a workout. We got them glute bridges. We got them questions going. You good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got that working. So listen, man, don't forget to hit that link for TLF Apparel. Also, don't forget to check out my ebook. Email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com. The email address is in the description below. And also, guys, those were the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the feedback and you guys definitely learned something. Stay tuned, man. Subscribe to the page. We're going to keep doing what we got to do. I appreciate all the love and support. Content Performance, we out. Ooh. No watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing, yeah. New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah Need no middleman, I'm the man to man, send it in I like what I like, me, I know my rights, it's sipping in I like having fun